Hello, Holy Wiremont here. Welcome to tutorial 26 in the GLUA Pro series, where we're going to be taking a look at damage info and key press. So, damage info is pretty simple and explanatory. I'll get into that in just a second, but first I want to explain the setup. We have the player spawn, which we're just setting the model, so it's not the basic or default model, which you see. Uh, we are going to be taking a look next at the hook called key press. So, here we have key press. Now, key press will take the given player who presses the key and assign that to the player, and then we'll have the key itself, which is pressed, which is assigned to what's called an in enumeration. So let's say I press left click. Well, the enumeration for left click is called in underscore tack, and I'll have a link in the description below to those enumerations. And then we can have a certain script run whenever the player clicks that button, or you can have a keyboard button or all these other buttons, uh, which are going to be explained in that link that I have provided below. So let's say that we want to damage ourselves every time we left click. So to do that, you could just say take damage. You could just do that and it'd be pretty basic and there's no real way to customize the damage. It's just straightforward damage, number goes in, if the player has less than the required health then he'll die. Well, what if we want to customize it? Well that's where C take damage info comes into account and it's very useful. So first we're going to have to create an object which is going to be a C take damage info object. And we have a bunch of functions which we can use to customize the damage. So let's say we want to set the attacker. So we do that and we can say the attacker is the player which is receiving the damage. So it will register as a suicide. And then we have the inflictor, which is pretty much typically going to be the weapon. And where you'll see the distinction between these two, the attacker and the inflictor, is hooks like player death where you have an inflictor and you have an attacker, and you can do conditional checks based upon that to give yourself the desired result. Let's just uh, customize this as such with a set damage. So this is where you're going to put the actual damage. Let's say this is just going to one hit shot our player. It is a devastating blow. And we are going to then set the damage type. Damage type, we'll have this as dissolve. And this is not going to be listed in the damage enumerations, which I'm provided in the uh, description below. However, there are a bunch of other useful ones, and we'll go over those in just a sec. Well, not all of them, but a couple more. And lastly, to apply the damage info to the player, instead of take damage, we do take damage info, and we simply put in the object, which we have right here, with all of its properties defined through the functions. Okay, so we can save that. And... Then we're going to have to actually end this properly. There we go. Let's go into the server. And then I'm going to dissolve myself. And that's what it looks like. It's just like when a combine ball hits you. All right, so that's nice. So let's set a different variant to where it doesn't actually kill us. So we can put different damage type right here. We can say, uh, let's say burn. So every time we get hit, it's going to be a burn. And this time we're going to scale the damage. So let's say that we want to scale it to deal half damage every time you get hit. So this is going to deal 50, then 25, 12, etc., all the way down to 1, then kill us every time we get hit. So let's see what that looks like. All right. You can kind of hear a burn effect, too. And that's what it looks like. Okay, so that's a slow, painful burn. Okay, so now uh, we can change it to maybe bullet this time. And... Let's say that we want to be able to subtract damage. So let's say we have armor or something that we're wearing, and we are going to take into account the player's armor. So we'll say this formula is going to subtract some amount of damage. So if I have full armor, it's going to subtract 25 damage. If I have one armor, it's going to subtract 0.25 damage. So just a basic system to make your systems a little bit more complicated. So and then we're going to have set damage force. So what if we have a grenade which is being thrown and we want to blast the player back a little. Not like in the movies where it causes you to fly unrealistically, but a realistic impact. So let's have it launch the player upwards, straight forward, uh, 250 units in the Z direction. That sounds good. And then we'll just save that. Now I want you to notice how much you get launched based upon the damage that you take. So if I take 50 damage, I jump. I got launched that much. Take 25, not as much. 12, not as much. 7, not as much. 3, so forth. As you can see, it decreases based upon 
the number of damage that you take. So if you want a crazy damage explosion, you're going to have to set the damage really high. Set it to something ridiculous like 10,000. Oh, I got a flip. Isn't that nice? All right, so I hope that explains everything for the damage info. We're going to be taking this information and applying it towards swept in a couple videos from now. But I'd just like for you to have a good idea of how the take damage info class actually works. So if you have any questions, of course, feel free to leave some in the comments section below. As always, if you like the material, feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment, and bell. And until then, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a great day, and thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out Hexane Networks for affordable and high-performance server hosting. That's Hexane Networks, whose link is in the description below.